Hi everyone, I'm Dina with Mills Family Gardening. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'd like to set up a new trellis for our cucumbers. And you can see that we have a smaller trellis over, the, over there and then we had the same kind of trellis over here. But last year, our daughters played in this area and I don't know what happened, but this trellis completely came out of the ground. I decided to set it over there and I still haven't decided what I'll do with it, but it's still good working trellis, so I'll use it for something else, except the legs kind of started breaking down in the soil. But today, um, I decided to use this little space here between the big raised bed and then the tomato patch, and you can still see that we have a little drip irrigation system here. So today we're going to drive the T-post into the ground. It's going to be about five foot long trellis system and uh, my wonderful husband Matt is going to help me with that. And now that we have the T-post in the ground, I'm going to use this twine to weave it around to provide support for cucumbers. I could use something that's called concrete mesh. It's more permanent. I could use it year after year, but that means I would have to buy a roll of it and we would have to store it. That would add to more clutter. And so I decided to simply use this twine. If I need to take it down at the end of the season, that's fine. This is made of 100% cotton. It will decompose fast when I add it to the compost pile. So I'm just going to go with this. Okay, I had to stop halfway and make a tie here because the uh, twine was getting too long and it was hard to unroll it. So I'm just going to unroll a large piece of it so that I can go all the way to the top of the T-Pose. All right, guys, we're done with the weaving and it looks nice. And like I said, at the end of the season, I'll just put in the compost. And if you decide to do this kind of trellis, make sure you unroll a large piece of twine so that it will be easier to work it around the T-posts. And also I would like to point out that these uh, T-posts are different. Like for example, this one, you can see that it has holes. It's very convenient to pull the twine through the holes. But we also have the different kind of T-posts that don't have holes in them. We use these to support tomatoes and we put just simple garden wire around them. And at some point I'm going to tie the tomatoes to the garden wire with a twine also. All right guys, this is just a simple trellis for cucumbers. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. It would help us grow our channel. Leave any questions and comments in the comment section. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.